The central government has come down heavily to stop the misuse of antibiotics in India. To curb the misuse of antibiotics or antimicrobial drugs, the government has made it mandatory for doctors to write exact indications on their prescriptions. In the context of prescriptions, exact indications refers to specific and accurate reasons or medical conditions for which antibiotics or antimicrobial drugs are being prescribed. The central government has mandated that doctors must specify the precise purpose or medical necessity for using these medications to prevent their misuse or overuse. Making an urgent appeal, the Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS, which is a wing under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, has written letters to all doctors of medical colleges, all medical associations and all pharmacist associations in India. DGHS has asked pharmacist associations to dispense anti antibiotics only on prescription of a qualified doctor and stop over-the-counter sale of antibiotics. Now let's understand why the government has made this move. Antimicrobial resistance is one of the top global public health threats facing humanity. It is estimated that bacterial antimicrobial resistance, also known as AMR, was directly responsible for 1.27 million global deaths in 2019 and 4.95 million deaths were associated with drug-resistant infections. In a letter sent to doctors and medical associations, DGHS said that AMR puts many of the gains of modern medicine at risk. It threatens the effective prevention and treatment of infections caused by resistant microbes resulting in prolonged illness and greater risk of death. DGHS told all three stakeholders that treatment failures also lead to longer period of infectivity and prohibitive high cost of the second line drugs may result in failure to treat these diseases in many individuals. Misuse and overuse of antimicrobial drugs is one of the main drivers in the emergence of drug-resistant pathogens. With few new antibiotics in the research and development pipeline, prudent antibiotic use is the only option to delay the development of resistance in human bodies. Now, what are the messages being sent to doctors in medical colleges and pharmacists? According to the letters sent to the doctors in medical colleges, medical colleges not only provide tertiary health care in the country, but they are also hubs for the education of the younger generation of doctors. This makes it important that the doctors at these medical colleges set the example of judicious use of antibiotics for the next generation of doctors who will face this crisis in a much more severe form. While the letter to pharmacists reminds them to implement Schedule H and H1 of the drugs and cosmetic rules and sell antibiotics only on valid prescriptions, the letter to doctors tell them to mandatorily mention the reason for taking antibiotics.